E A G L E S. Eagles! Eagles! Say fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs>
how low can you go? You know what I mean? Like like back in the day. But anyway, um, back to Hargreaves. You're next to a top three, top four D tackle in the game. You're supposed to be a top five D tackle in the game. Combined, y'all should be wrecking havoc. I don't see that. And I literally seen, no lie, man. A lot of people want to talk about Fisher Cox quitting yesterday. Oh, not yesterday. Sunday, should I say. I didn't see that. I understand he got turned around and, the, you know, the game was over. He got turned around. I just think he was exhausted. He was exhausted. Because when you look at it, it's it's easy for you to get exhausted when you get in double team. He literally got double teamed every play. Every single play, Fletcher Cox was double teamed. And I put out an APB out on uh, Fletcher Cox because he wasn't, he wasn't being as dominant as I thought he should be. But, man, when I say every single play, they was double teaming him and Brandon Grant. They couldn't do anything. That's when Hargrave, you need to step up. If you're getting one on one on one coverage, you should you should you should beat that one on one coverage. Seriously, man, like 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 like, what are you here for? What are you getting paid thirty nine million dollars for? If you're not gonna beat one on one coverage, now back to Flexion Cox real fast. I I don't think that he quit. I just think he was exhausted because. It's, it, it's a difference. You know what I mean? If you can't make a play, but then the guy next to you make a play because you like, yeah, now you're up. You you know, you got some type of excitement because you like it in the back of your head. you like, yeah, good play. But I know I made that happen because I was getting double teamed. He's really not getting that when you look at it. You know what I mean? Because Hargrave is not doing his job. He is not being dominant up front how he should be. Now, also, I want to commend Fletcher Cox for coming back into the game, basically you, 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 with a dislocated, a dislocated uh, shoulder, and they pop that thing right back in. Pause. But they, you know, he come right back into the game. So that's why, man, I'm, I'm grinding people up. They're saying that saying that uh, they're saying that Fletcher Cox quit. I don't think he quit. I just feel as though he was just exhausted. When I say, go look at the tape. Go look at the tape, y'all. When I say. He was double teamed damn near every single play. He couldn't do nothing. He couldn't do nothing. And, you know, shout out to the Giants for that. Because they felt as though uh, the other guys, Malik Jackson and, and Hargrave, they can't they can't do nothing with us. And it seemed like, and it seemed like that's what it was. You know what I mean? Um That's really it. A little bit of Sixers talk I want to talk about real fast, you know. I do, I do, I do report on the Sixers, but I'm an Eagles guy, and it's, it's Eagles season. It's hard for me to break what's going on and talk about other things when we got the Eagles going on. So you know, I watched the draft. Uh, the kid from Kentucky don't know too much about him, but I do know this: the kid is tough, and that's what Philly wants. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I called my folks, right? I called my folks. Yo, bro, you like the Al Harford trade? He said, yeah. Who did we get? <laughs> he don't care who we got. As long as we got rid of Al Harford. Hey, man, Al Harford is gone. And we brought in a, basically, the the top two percentage shooter in NFL history at the three-point line. And, and Seth Curry uh, brought in Danny Green. Um, uh, Maury is doing his thing. Maury's doing this thing, and I can't complain about nothing that he's done. A lot of people are still down. What I don't get, like, what you wanted him to trade Ben, or you want to no, know, you don't trade Ben, you don't trade Joel. You see, you put other pieces around them. Instead of going with the big bully ball, we're going to go with shooters this time. Now, if they can't get it done then, then you start mixing up the stars. If Tobias can't get it done then, then you start trying to trade him. But Al Harford had to go. He did, he does he doesn't fit on what what's going to be new here. Basically, shooters around your young stars. I like what I'm seeing from uh from the Sixers. Keep it going. I don't like what I'm seeing from the Eagles. Make changes. Hard grave. You freaking stink right now. You got to take care of that. You got to take care of that stench, big guy. You got to got to get in shower. You got to do something. Some cool water on. You got to do something. You stink right now, man. I need more than eight tackles and 1.1 1 .1 sacks. 1.5 sacks. One and a half sacks. That's alarming to me. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all already know what it is. Yo, that. Space Philly.
always stay fresh.